Hello friends. Now when we're anxious we can end up saying things that aren't helpful, can't we? It happens so easily, especially in the company of the wrong people. Before we know it, we're criticising and complaining and the atmosphere quickly becomes negative. And that's because our words can create a climate. But the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds. Now we start to rise above anxiety by giving thanks, not by speaking negative things about our situations or about ourselves. And we can't let our level of thankfulness to God be determined by our situation, because God is greater than any situation we will ever face. So how can we overcome our negativity and instead develop a positive, faith-filled outlook. Well, firstly, we need to decide to. Simple as that. We can't move from negative thinking until we decide we don't want to think like that anymore. So let's refuse to spend another moment criticising and complaining. And then we need to start now. Change doesn't come easily, does it? But unless we make a start, it won't come at all. We need to try to be more aware of what we say. When we start speaking negatively, we need to recognise it and steer our thoughts and our words towards positive things. And then thirdly, we need to look for what's good. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, think about such things. Because if we're always focusing on the bad things, the struggles, the hurts, then we're going to find it hard to be positive. So instead, we need to try and look for the good things and speak positively about our situations. So why don't you, every time you catch yourself speaking negatively to yourself or to others, stop and say something positive instead. See if you can do it. Now let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.